In this video, the TM1638 is programmed as a frequency counter, displaying the frequency of periodic signals. A diagram of the implemented system is shown here. We have the TM1638 module connected with the Arduino using serial interfacing. We have the strobe line connected to digital pin 2, the clock connected to D3, and the DIO line connected to D4. And the input to TTL periodic signal is fed through pin D5. Let's have a quick look at the C++ program used in this project. Now most part of this uh, code was explained in my previous videos so you can just go back and watch the previous videos to understand how uh, the code was written. So here I will only focus on the frequency counterpart of the code. We need to include this uh, library so that we can program the TM1638 as a frequency counter. And uh, inside the setup function we need to initialize the library. And in the loop function we read the status of the buttons. And if uh, button 1 is pressed then we call this uh, function frequency counter. When we press and release the first button, we are now inside this function. We read the status of the buttons again, and now the value of buttons would be zero, so this while loop will be executed. We acquire the frequency, and using this for loop, we store the seven digit uh, frequency value into the seven elements of the array. And then we call this function so that we can display the frequency on the seven segment displays of the module. Inside this function, using a for loop and a switch statement, we uh, convert the frequency stored in the array into uh, equivalent characters that can be displayed on the module. Back inside the function frequency counter, once we have converted the frequency into equivalent characters, we display on the first seven segment the letter F, and then using this for loop display the seven digit uh, frequency on the display module. The while loop will continuously execute displaying the frequency on the module and once we press uh, button one again we exit the while loop and jump back to the main function. So button one here is programmed to be like an on off switch. And now for a quick demonstration, first we apply a square wave with a few kilohertz. Now we increase the frequency to hundreds of kilohertz. Switch S1 can be used to turn on or off the frequency counter. In conclusion, each button on the TM1638 module can be programmed to execute an application, thus making the module versatile and multi-purpose.